Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Wall with your Fox 10 News Now update. We are following breaking news in Mobile. Investigators busy trying to figure out what caused a deadly fire. Here's what we know so far. Mobile Fire Rescue Crews were called out to the home on Dr. Thomas Avenue. We're told the flames were so intense they melted the side of an adjacent home. Rescue crews found two victims as they were trying to put out the blaze. Mobile police and fire investigators are looking into the incident. Now to an update on that massive warehouse fire on Paper Mill Road. That blaze is finally out. The fire broke out inside the Merchants Transfer Company building Tuesday morning. It took more than 36 hours for Mobile Fire Rescue to put out the blaze and all the hot spots. The flames were fed by bales of compressed recycled paper. Investigators are now working to find out what led to the fire. Alabama health leaders say the UK variant has been found in Mobile County. They say the patient is an adult between the ages of 25 and 49. Health leaders say the patient had no recent out of state travel. This first Mobile County case joined seven others already reported in Alabama and the nearly 1300 across the country in at least 44 states. Dr. Scott Chavers from the Mobile County Health Department says this version of the virus is more contagious and and some reports indicate it might be deadlier. The mutation at the genetic level causes this variant to be more transmissible because it adheres to the cells more efficiently than the older variant. Doctors say the best prevention is still getting vaccinated because both Moderna's and Pfizer shot do appear to be effective against the UK variant. They also recommend other COVID safety protocols like wearing a face mask, washing your hands and social distancing. The weather conditions postponing a vaccination clinic in Baldwin County. The state health department moving the mass vaccine clinic at Owa to tomorrow. Health leaders saying the shots will mainly cover second vaccinations. Only 200 first doses will be given to those in first in line. If you are going for a second dose, you do not have to get there super early. Your vaccine is set aside and allocated for you, so there's no need to come and sit in your car on these cold nights. The state health department saying it has an ample supply of second doses, encouraging anyone who received their first dose at the Daphne Cynic Center or health department to get out to Owa tomorrow from 9 to 3. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. Strong storms east of our area began to develop late last night. In fact, we only had one severe thunderstorm warning, and that was around Santa Rosa and Okaloosa County at about one o'clock in the morning. But now those storms are east of Fort Walton Beach and our rain turning light and turning turning spotty. The coverage of rain is going to be dropping to about 30% for today, and the rain will end for everybody by the time we head in towards this afternoon. Tornado watch box exists for the eastern Florida panhandle places like Panama City, Tallahassee. For us though, we are going to be dealing with north wind flow, cold temperatures, no sleet or freezing rain. All of that is going to be staying well off to the north and east of us, and we're expecting generally quiet weather as we move in throughout today, but the high will struggle to get back up to around 50 degrees. Your weather headlines, the rain ends. We do end up staying chilly even into this afternoon, and as we progress in toward this weekend, we start to see the temperatures warm up and the thaw begins. Check out the Fox 10 future cast where only light rain will exist throughout the day, but then stops by three this afternoon. As we go through the night tonight and into tomorrow morning, the clouds will stay put and they will remain with us until we get to mid morning tomorrow. Then they fade out and we are back in sunshine just in time for your Friday afternoon and to kick off the weekend. So perfect timing in that regard. As far as our temperatures, we are going to see the morning temps get below freezing Friday morning and Saturday morning, but look at Friday through Sunday. Solid sunshine. Temperatures even get to the mid 60s for Sunday and Monday, and then even jump into the upper 60s by next Wednesday. We're going to be talking more about your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.